Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back at the World Coffee and Spirit Finals 2022. Yes, so we are just about ready for our next competitor. So let's take a look at his journey to this stage. Judges are ready. Please welcome judges on the stage with a huge round of applause. And let's keep that coming. Let's get even louder for our next competitor of the day. Representing Greece, Christos Kluvatos. Good luck, Christos. Good luck. Welcome, welcome. How are you feeling? I'm a bit anxious. I really want you to feel like you are in a bar. You are not, but I really want you to make this experience. So, the music, please. Hello, sir. So, time. It always starts with a question. What may inspire you to create a coffee cocktail? So today I will present to you the two different ways I have got inspired and created both of my beverages. I will start by brewing some coffee for later on. By the meantime, please relax and have a browse through the menus which I give you to hold up so that you can refer back as many times during or after the performance, please. So now, the inspiration for my first cold designer beverage, which is called a trip to Vineyards, comes from wine and grapes. Coffee cultivation and processing have so many similarities with those of grapes and wine. And in modern era, wine and coffee play a significant role among the coffee industry, the world of spirits, and the cooking as well. So I felt enthusiasm to create both an after dinner and after brunch coffee cocktail, which anyone can enjoy at any bar, restaurant, or coffee shop by using ingredients based on wine, like cognac, vermouth, and cherry. The guys who inspired me a lot about this process are Vasilis and Nikos from Line Bar in Athens. They are so excited with wine making and processing, and then Mr. Yanis a tough company, always enthusiastic with delicious coffee beans. So I wanted to connect those two ideas, and here I am. And for today, the wine character starts from my coffee, which is a geisha variety from the farm El Burro in Panama. To highlight the flavor profile of this coffee in the farm, they decided to process the whole cherries with an aerobic slow drying. It still tanks for 120 hours. Then, they continued the drying process naturally on elevated African beds for five weeks. Those two processes combined highlight the wine character of my coffee with flavors like red grapes, raisins, and blueberries. It has the sweetness and gives a smooth but heavy mouth to my coffee, which makes it perfect for my drink. And I decided to brew my coffee for this cold beverage as an espresso in order to extract the best possible coffee sweetness the tartaric acidity and the heavy mouthfeel that I need. And now, let's begin the trip to Vineyards. I will start with Cognac Hennessy very special edition, matured in no wooden barrels, and the result is a bolded fragrant Cognac with intense flavors of toasted almond, brown sugar, and vanilla. But not only coffee beans are naturally dry and under the sun. These Pedro Jimenez series grapes are laid down to the sun until they're practically raisins. After that, fermentation starts slowly, and the resulting wine ages for 12 years in contact with the air in Jerez de la Frontera. The aromas are reminiscent of grapes, figs, and blueberries. 
Now it's time to connect coffee cultivation and processing with wine, like maceration, fermentation, terroir and varieties. Tokaya Zeus, a fully bodied sweet dessert wine made from late ripened grapes, affected by Botrytis cinerea, a malt which concentrates grape sugars and flavors into honey-like sweetness. The grapes are macerated for two days, gently pressed for fermentation to take place in new sugar and oak barrels. The result is great, with intense flavors of citrus, peach and apricot, with a long aftertaste of orange blossom and white grapes. And now my ingredient, which is Orgeat Almond, which I prepared, as I must, 500 grams of toasted almonds with 500 grams of water to filter it, and then added 500 grams of sugar and 5 grams of xanthagum. By adding the syrup, I am enhancing the nutty character of my cognac, creating synergy among the flavors and giving a creamy mouth to my drink. Now we'll add two big ice cubes, and I will shake my drink to serve it to you at almost 4 degrees. The shaking technique, along with the low temperature, will highlight the creamy texture and the sweetness of my ingredients by giving them clarity and minimize the bitterness. Now, please excuse me, I have to shake it to you. And you can make some noise, please, for me. Because of the air, while I was shaking, the result will be a creamy buttery mouthfeel with a sticky pleasant finish. And you will find flavors of candied apricot, milk chocolate, chocolate liqueur, and in overall it will remind you of a tiramisu, which means lift me up. So I want to lift your emotions and enjoy the drink. This is an easy cocktail to prepare at any professional bar, restaurant, or coffee shop. You can pre-batch the syrups and the spirit and just add the freshly extracted doubles of espresso. I have already garnished it with the leftovers of my Georgia for sustainability. Don't drink it yet because I will finish it with a wine aroma cloud to recreate the foggy atmosphere back at the vineyards early in the morning, which makes the landscape abound with natural for us ends. I want you first to lean in front experience the aroma, and enjoy the trip to Vineyards. My friends, are you ready? Very nice. The second beverage that I'm going to share today with you is the ice coffee. This time I got inspired, not by the process, but rather from the aromas and flavors of the same coffee, El Buro. When I, Mr. Yanis, and my brother Thanos tasted El Buro, we were amazed by the intense flavors of forest fruits like berries, candied cherry, and toasted almond. This, this fruity character of sour cherry reminded me of the wild berries. And in combination with the toffee caramel, I thought that it would be great to create my Black Forest Ice Coffee. Now, trying to find the noise with similar character and flavor, I came across with Tilling Potsdil. This is a great Irish whiskey, matured in New American oak, sherry and bourbon barrels. And the result is a great whiskey with intense flavors of toasted almond, candied cherry, followed by creamy vanilla and caramel sweetness. To highlight the toffee flavor of my drink, I am adding another great Irish whiskey to La Mordu. And now, to complement the caramel sweetness of my whiskies and the butterscotch flavor of my drink, I am adding 30 ml of raw white sugar and flour honey syrup. And for that chocolate cake note, 10 ml of black Moscovado sugar syrup. When I will combine all the ingredients together, the hot body of the drink will be at 55 degrees. 
and at this temperature you will find silky texture highlighted by the natural sweetness and the chocolate cherry notes. Now it's ready to homogenize and I'm, I will be ready to serve to you. And I will be pairing it with a fresh dark cream and the contrast between the cold cream at 4 degrees and the cold cream will have a profound effect on your experience. In the first sip, you will find flavors of creamy vanilla and butterscotch caramel. In the second and subsequent sips, the coffee will be more profound and you will find melted chocolate, cherry liqueur, toffee, and black cake forest finish. Please enjoy my coffees. It was my pleasure to be here. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, Christos Klovatos representing Greece. Christos, come over, brother. Whoa. Congratulations. And it's Thanks. over. Thanks a lot. You know that. Looks awesome. You feeling good? Yes. Great. You are the most emotionless person I've ever seen. You're so cool. It's like, yes. Uh, it was good. Cool, yes. I feel excitement <laughs> and adrenaline. Yeah, amazing. Because no matter how much you have practiced it, subconsciously you know that it's on the stage. You have to do almost everything perfect. And exactly. So many variables. Yes. You, it's, this, it, yeah, it's, it's your seemed... first final and you did it well. Okay, yeah. great. That's great. <laughs> That's great. You should be very pleased. I am. Yeah. Are I you going to go backstage and go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your kind of road to Milan. Your national championship was a good while ago? Uh, yes, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, I have worked also as a barista. During the summers, I used to be a bartender. And the, the reality is that I love the creation, the flavors, the experience as a customer too. So I did this whole thinking about bartending, but not just like shaking the experimental thing, the flavors. And now I had the opportunity, the guy saw me in another competition of Greek spirits. Vasily Skirits from Line Bar, and he told me, we are creating a new bar. We like your attitude because it's not only bartending, you can learn this. So I followed them and I, I continued the coffee-like processing with Mr. Yanis from Duff. So I can combine both. I know people like you that inspire us. And uh, that's Talking about people, would you like to say thank you to someone particular? Yes, uh, first of all to my brother Thanos, who is uh, here with me. We are like coffee right brothers. Up. Uh, Are there any Greeks here? <laughs> to Mr. Yanis from Tough Company, to the guys from the Land Bar, of course to my family, friends, but uh, those specific people believed in me, helped in me. For example, Nikos Bakulis, when I was trying to find the, the different wines, he talked to me about the Tokai. I have never tasted it. And Delicious. the philosophy, like for the, the acidity and the honey-like sweetness and the... Um, Gives great flavor to, to, to my coffee. Amazing. Nice. Well, let's hear it one more time. The Coffee Good Spirits champion of Greece, Christos Kluvatos. And we'll be back very soon with our next competitor on the Latte Art Stage.